this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to Spotlight Friday. Today I am going to spotlight these Petite Cafe gift bags that Stampin' Up! has. These bags are awesome. They're lined with like um, wax paper or something. I'm not exactly sure what is in the lining but it feels like wax paper it's just like the regular coffee bags like if you go to the grocery store and you fill your own bags it has that um, like wax paper inside so it's great for like putting cookies or any kind of treat in it it's really really a good bag for that and you can put a small gift in here they're super cute I just made a hello spring one because I thought this paper looked so springy and I, I just wanted to make something for a spring and I think I'm going to probably use it as a friend's gift. And um, so this is what I'm sharing today. So I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to show you the bags. These are the Petite Cafe bags. They come 10 in a bag. And these are awesome little bags. You are going to love these. And they're so easy for a quick packaging idea. Um, they're just great for that. So for this, you're going to need a piece of three and a quarter by eight inches. This is our uh, fruit stand designer series paper. Let me show you real quick. I've done projects with this before, so you've probably seen it. But it has strawberries, peaches, and the other side, uh, this is the flowered one. The other side has like a different design. It almost looks watercolored, super pretty, stripes and stuff. And there's pears. And then they have this lemon. Isn't that lemon so pretty? And then the other side has like apples on it. But this is such a great stack. I love it. It's so cheery and springy and summery. And I just love it. So this time I'm going to do a happy Mother's Day because Mother's Day is in May. And, you know, it comes up really quick. And um, this is, did I tell you what size this was? I totally got off track. But this is three and a quarter by eight. So you'll need uh, the designer series paper and three and a quarter by eight. And then I'm using the Watermelon Wonder. And it's our mini um, striped ribbon. Yes, it's Watermelon Wonder. This is one of the colors that is going to be discontinued because we are getting new in colors. Um, in June because our new annual catalog comes out in June and these are the 2015-17 colors and if you want reinkers or paper or stamp pads or anything in the in colors that are retiring I suggest you get them now because they go really fast when people know that they are being discontinued so um, you're gonna need a piece that's 23 and a half inches and this is super pretty and it goes so cute with this paper and then you will need some scrap watermelon wonder isn't that gorgeous see that's why I hate for this to go away this is one of my favorites I love watermelon wonder and then a piece of whisper white to stamp on and then this piece is one inch by three and a half and um, Actually, this may be the extra piece. I have another piece I cut at three and a half. I may have to cut another one if I can't find it. <laughs> I may have misplaced it. But let's see. Yeah, I thought that was more than three and a half. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this really quick at three and a half. Should use my trimmer, but I don't want to bring that back out. I had a piece I cut. I don't know where it went. So this is for the little banner that's under the sentiment right here. And so you'll need that for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and attach this. And I used wet glue because you can move this around. And make sure that your bag, this flap here is to the back. And this is the front of your bag right here. So I'm going to use some, hopefully I can get this out again because I, I keep forgetting to put my new one out here. And uh, this one is almost empty. So let me see if I can get it to come out. Okay, there we go. There is stuff left in here. But this, using the wet glue allows you to be able to move um, the bag around and get it just right in place. So we are going to put that right on the front. 
and I'm just going to line it up here. And you just place it right on the front there. And then the next thing we're going to do is let me grab the, uh, well, first let's go ahead and stamp. It would be better to stamp and then, and then we can use the big shot to cut out the pieces. So I'm going to grab the Memento Black. And the stamp set that I'm using is the Circle of Spring. You can use any of these sentiments. There's Hello Spring, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Birthday to You, Happy Easter. It would be a cute Easter bag. And thank you. And then this just says for you. You can even cut this wreath out. I thought about doing the wreath, but I just wanted a really quick and simple packaging idea for you. So that's why I'm using the Happy Mother's Day this time. And then we're going to just go ahead and stamp that with a memento black. I'm just stamping in the center because I'm going to be using our Stitch Shapes framelits to cut it out. And I'm going to use the uh, Watermelon Wonder for the little scallop circles. So the one, the Stitch Shape that I'm using is one and a half inches and then the scallop is two inches so let's get the big shot up here and I'm going to use my platforms here I'm going to use a clear and then I'm going to I'm going to cut these both out at the same time they're small enough so we'll do the happy mother's day and then we'll do one of the scallop. Then one more clear plate. And we'll just send that through. If you don't have a big shot, you know that I use it so much. And I know a lot of people use them a lot, but I can't live without it. You, that is a great investment to make if you don't have one. There's so much you can do with these. Just emboss and cut shapes and... There's just so much. Okay. So here is the circle. Of course, I love the stitching on this. And then we're just going to attach these here. I have the wet glue out. You can use your fast fuse or your snail. I just have that out here. All right, so I'm going to open the bag. It's just easier to put the ribbon and stuff on when it's open. And I'm not going to put anything in it yet. I'm just going to close it up so I can attach the ribbon. We're going to run the ribbon up here. And then, did I tell you we need 20, I think it's 22 inches I cut. Um, I doubled it 11 inches, and I'm going to use my linen thread. So... I just did 11 inches twice to double it because I love how it looks when it's doubled to tie this on here. So I'm just going to put this here and we're going to tie a bow. I'm just going to tie it loosely because I can slide this down once I have the knot in there. See, just like that. And then we're going to tie a ribbon, or a bow. <laughs> it looks so pretty with the when you double it. So I'm going to cut this end open. And then I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. Just trim the end. And see, it's, it's so cute on there. And then we're ready to put our banner on. So I'm going to use my banner punch here. This is a tri the triple banner punch. And I'm going to use this because I have it out for once. Sometimes I do it by hand. This is the quicker way to do it. So I'm going to banner both ends. When I'm holding it this way, I can't seem to get it straight. So I hope these the banners are okay. Yeah, this one's a little off, but that's okay. All right, we're going to add the 
this to the front. Um, again, I'm going to just use my multi-purpose glue here. And then I'm going to use some glue dots to attach it to the front. I'm going to use quite a few, probably three, to make sure it stays on the ribbon. And then we're just going to place it on the front, just like that. Isn't that not super cute? I just love these bags. And look how cute they are, just to put a little bit of a treat or just a small gift or something and just dress it up. I always make my sisters like um, things for Mother's Day, and these would be really cute. I don't know if they're watching, but you may be getting one for Mother's Day. <laughs> anyway, that's the project today for Spotlight Friday. I hope you liked it. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.